Welcome to Jupyter Notebook for All, Part 1 by Dan Toomey, a video course by Pact Publishing. I am Andy Morris, and I will be Dan's voice for this course. Dan Toomey has been developing applications for over 20 years. He has worked in a variety of industries and differently sized companies in roles from sole contributor to VP CTO level. For the last 10 years or so, he has been contracting to companies in the eastern Massachusetts area. Dan has been contracting under Dan Toomey Software Corp again as a contractor developer in the area. Dan has also written R for Data Sciences with Pact Publishing. OK, so let's now talk about Jupyter. Jupyter Notebook is a web-based environment that enables interactive computing in notebook documents. It allows you to create and share documents that contain live code, equations, visualizations, and explanatory text. The Jupyter Notebook system is extensively used in domains such as data cleaning and transformation, numerical simulation, statistical modeling, machine learning, and much more. This tutorial starts with a detailed overview of the Jupyter Notebook system and its installation in different environments. Next, you will learn to integrate the Jupyter system with different programming languages such as R, Python, JavaScript, and Julia. Further, you will explore the various versions and packages that are compatible with the Notebook system. Moving ahead, you'll master interactive widgets, namespaces, and working with Jupyter in multi-user mode. Towards the end, you will use Jupyter with a big dataset and will apply all the functionalities learned throughout the video. Now let's look at our course. We'll start from scratch. The introductory section will talk about the Jupyter user interface, walks through installing Jupyter on Windows and Mac OS X, examines the basic operations of Jupyter Notebook available through the user interface for all engines, and gives an overview of the security features available and configuration options. The next section will walk through a simple Python notebook and the underlying structure. This section also shows an example of using pandas, graphics, and using random numbers in a Python script. Next, we will add the ability to use R scripts in your Jupyter Notebook, add an R library not included in the standard R installation, makes a Hello World script in R, and shows R data access against built-in libraries and some of the simpler graphics and statistics that are automatically generated. We use an R script to generate 3D graphics in a couple of different ways, perform a cluster analysis, and use one of the forecasting tools available in R. Now we will add the ability to use Julia scripts in your Jupyter Notebook, Add a Julia library not included in the standard Julia installation and show the basic features of Julia. We outline some of the limitations encountered with using Julia in Jupyter and display graphics using some of the graphics packages available, including Gadfly, Winston, Vega and PyPlot. We show parallel processing in action, a small control flow example and how to add unit testing to your Julia script. Finally, we will show how to add JavaScript to a Jupyter notebook some of the limitations of using JavaScript in Jupyter, and examples of several packages that are exemplary of Node.js coding, including D3 for graphics, stats analysis for statistics, built-in JSON handling, and Plotly used for generating graphics with a third-party tool. You learn how multi-threaded applications can be developed using Node.js under Jupyter, and use machine learning to develop a decision tree. This comprehensive practical guide will teach you how to work with the Jupyter Notebook system. It demonstrates the integration of various programming languages with Jupyter Notebook through hands-on examples in every section. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin this journey together, and I hope you will learn Jupyter at the end of the course.